What's up everybody, Travis the Acorn here on another Red Dead Redemption video. Today I'm going to show you how to glitch and get into Guarma from out of the map. Um, but first, before you do this, you will need alcohol and a lot of it, which I just did. Now I'll show you where you can make this glitch happen on the map. It's all the way over here at this cave where you can find the cave hermit or devil hermit as I like to call him. Alright, let's head there. Alrighty, we have arrived. Well, pretty much. Here we go. Alright. Now what you do is enter the cave it's always best to have a, have some kind of light going in here. You never know if it's too dark or not. And keep going into the cave of darkness. Now when you get to um, across the bridge, don't keep straight, take a left. And follow this to the very end until you see a drop. And don't drop, because it won't work that way. Now we get drunk. Ah, here we go. Best alcohols to use is either fine brandy, gin, or guarma rum. Stuff that doesn't drain your health core. So, keep drinking until you pass out. And unfortunately, I have the talisman where it takes like double the alcohol for Arthur to get drunk, so this might take a while. Oh, still no drunk. I wish I had this kind of alcohol tolerance. Oh, there we go. He's getting there. If you have um, H Pirate Rum. That actually works quicker for some reason. I guess, you know, aged alcohol. Stronger alcohol. Uh, same goes for moonshine, I believe. But, downside of that, it affects your health core negatively. Alright, he should be almost there. Drink till you pass out. Alright, I think one or two more and he's good. Yep, one more. Well, oh, oh. Hang on. Hey, oh, there we go. All right. And, oh no, it didn't work. Well, let's try this again. Uh oh, uh oh. No, no. Oh. Phew. Okay. Let's try again. Let's turn Arthur into an alcoholic. Maybe stand not so close to the edge. That might have been why it glitched out. Normally when you pass out right here, you'll wake up outside of the map boundary. It's my last bottle of gin. Hey, you know what? Screw it. Let's go moonshine. Oh, here we... Hold on. One more for good me Never mind. There we go. 
Well, he still drank that last one of Guarma rum, so. And, let's see here. Yes! Alright. We are outside of the map. Which, now, is getting to where you need to go. Which is the not-so-fun part. What you will want to do to really save time is find a horse. Animals do spawn outside of the map, but only at, like, the edges of the outside of the map. And the cool thing is, uh, they, the animals, unless you provoke them, they do not move. So now, we just need to find a wild horse to break. There's usually one through this area. Sometimes you have to really search for it, but... Eh. It looks like I'm going to have to search for it. But I'm not stopping the video. Well, I'm not pausing the video. Uh-oh. Sorry, Arthur. Didn't mean to drop your stamina core. <clears throat> the allergies are kicking my butt. All right. Well, where are the horsies? Huh. Would have ran into one by now. Normally, the ones through here you find are like um, either Tennessee Walkers. Morgans, sometimes an American Standard bred. Uh, every once in a while, a Mustang. And personally, I don't care what breed I get, as long as it's fast and good stamina, I'm not going to complain. And searching, and searching. Haven't even found any animals yet. Hey, at least you get to enjoy the scenery. Let's see. Get to one of these mountain tops here. Well, hilltop. Pull out the binoculars and see if I can find something. Another cool thing about being outside of the map, it takes a lot more for Arthur or a horse to slide on these hills. Alright, still nothing. Make sure I'm not too far out of the map. Uh, not really. Oh, there's birds, that's a good sign. Alright. Let's see here. Eh, a whole lot of nothing. Oh, wait. Ah, pfft birds. Alright, I'm going to pause the video until I can find a horse. No horses, but I I found uh, these bad boys. Look, you can get right up next to them. What's up, bro? <laughs> no horse yet, but I found a black bear. <laughs> you just walk around. It not do anything. Well, black bears don't attack anyway. They run. Hang on. Oh, perfect quality, too. <laughs> Alright, back to the horse. <laughs> oh. Alright, which one of you took my money? Was it you? Was it you? Was it you? 
Ah, the lot. Just screw the lot of you. <laughs> uh, finding a horse is difficult right now. Why is it so hard? The last time I did this, I found one almost instantly. And it was right next to a bear, too, ironically. Oh, why is this so hard? Oh, for the love of yes! Alright! Oh, the time it took to find horses was an absolute load of garbage. I'm talking an ungodly amount of BS. Alright, which one has the best stats? American paint. Good stamina. Same. Okay, they're all the exact same. I'll just go for the prettiest one. The cool thing is, these bad boys stay still. And, whoop! Now it's time to break! And just like that, this one is broken. All right. Go easy, boy. Calm the horse down. Go ahead and establish a little bond. Get him cleaned off, too. Ah, crap. Come on. Feed. Give another little pat. There we go. Alright, now on to the next part. We are going to set a course. Okay, I'm not far enough out yet. Hang on. Yep. This won't be hard. I know, Arthur, you're cold. I wasn't ex wasn't planning on taking so long to find a horse. Oh, I know I could have spawned one with cheat codes, but He's no, I, I that would disable the trophies, and I'm still gunning for a couple. All right, let's see if I'm far enough out. There we go. Now we have all this. Now what you want to do is set a course for about. guess right here and now you're going to witness a long journey in super fast motion as you can clearly see we are now getting into a more desert like region and take a look on the map. We're still nowhere near where we need to be. But it's cool how you can see the scenery change. Alright, now back to fast motion. Yep. Well, looky here. If I'd have known better, I'd say we're on the outskirts of New Austin. Yep, Rothskeller Fork. Now, the you don't want to get too close to the border here. Because even though you're outside of the map, if you are within, I guess, the range, you will be, unfortunately, well, preyed upon by invisible snipers with near deadly accuracy Easy, but another cool thing if you're actually close enough to see some of the animals you can actually study them 
which is cool, especially is you know if you're Arthur, because he, in my opinion, he's a better artist than John is. But now let's set a, a new course. Now we want to go roughly right here. So let's resume fast motion. It And looky here. Oh, wait a minute. Sonorian pronghorns. Okay. I thought they were the Baja California, but... Hey, cool. Alright, resume play. to have you dying on me. Yeah, that'll work. Alright. Let's try this again. Alright, now for a... another spot to follow. Right here should work. And let's do this. Yeah. All right. Another spot. Well, Actually, no. No spot. We're just going to keep going. Keep going south. Sorry about that, I thought I had some uh, microphone difficulties. But anyway, let's keep going. And just like that, we are now in Mexico. If you can find a spot to drop down, you know, a point of least resistance, be a good time to explore Mexico. But that's not what we're doing on this video. We're going to Guarma. So let's keep going. Now you do have to take a second just to appreciate these views. That's awesome. Too bad the, they didn't build any kind of buildings really in Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh well. But, um, what we're doing now... Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Now we just keep going east.
Sorry, I just wanted to have one good last look at Mexico before we really go east and into Guarma. Alright, no more delays, let's go. Alright, taking a brief stop because these next few moments are critical. I'm not going to do any fast motion for this because I yeah. want you to see something. Now we start traveling a little southeast. Nope, it hasn't happened yet. But you see how the ground is now becoming some spots less textured. Oh! I think that's what we needed. Nope. There we go. That lag, and there. We are now in Guarma. And just further proof. Dun da da da. <laughs> Alright, there's two ways of entering the actual map of Guarma. You can either run all the way around and try to find a spot here without falling and dying. Well, your horse dying. Or you can just take the cheap way and fall into the ocean. For uh, time's sake, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to fall in the ocean. So now, we just keep going. Okay, here in a minute you should see the ground start becoming less and less te le less and less textured. Hang on. I actually take care of my any horse that I use. Get him cleaned up a little. There's a big texture spot, but you're not going to fall through that. Alright, more and more texture patches. Come on, I should be coming up any moment now. There it is. All right. Yep. Hey, hey. Here is the edge of the map. Once you cross this edge, you will fall straight into the ocean and die. And yep. what better way to do it than with a bang? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I had nothing that will uh disappear when I die in my inventory. Now I am dead. And it's gonna take a second for it to properly load. But once it does, you'll see Arthur drinking water from a stream in Guarma. All right. And here we are, Guarma, the Arroyo de la Vibora. And a cool little um a cool little thing, if you come here before chapter 5, um you can basically travel anywhere on the map without having to worry about the snipers killing you. Unless you bring a horse or a donkey into, um, uh, through here. Which I guess you can say it's, uh, Aguas Dulces, 
I guess. But here we are in Guarma. Here you can study and kill all the macaw. You can find all the snakes, like the fertile ants, um, the different boas. You can also, well, you can find these on the islands in Flatiron Lake, but uh, there's a bunch of green iguana here, as well as the Cuban land crab. And as well as um, you'll find in the ocean. Well, the Bahia de La Paz, this little bay. Through here, you can study a green sea turtle. You can kill it if you want, but, um, you know, you're not going to get anything from it. You can't scan it. You can't collect anything off of it. You can just study it, and Arthur or John, whoever you're playing, will just draw a picture of it in the, in the journal. Now, here's the other part getting back to the main map. See, when I first came here, um, I'm not going to take credit for finding this glitch to get into Guarma. That was another YouTuber I happened to find, and this dude takes the full credit. But, when I first got to Guarma, I thought, how the heck am I going to get out? Because, you know, you're stuck. Well, after dying many times and seeing that I was just, um, you know, respawning back in Guarma, I thought, hey, I reached the edge of the map to get into this. I can reach the edge of this map to get back. And that's when I started traveling up here. Now, you can do this on foot, but it's going to take forever. This is why, um... Coming here on a horse and not falling into the ocean is a good idea because, well, yeah, it's much quicker. Green iguana, the blue and yellow macaw. Sorry, I got distracted. But um, in this uh, in this little part here or somewhere up through here, you can actually find uh, donkeys to ride. So we are now going to get ourselves a donkey. I'd say while I'm here I c can collect some parrot feathers, but I don't need any. Ah, crap. Well, let me find a... Let me try the other spot. Oh, wait a minute. Explore the the Spanish castle down there, up into the jungle. Um, you can look around La Capilla, which is that abandoned church. You can go into the little stronghold here. Mister, ¿qué tal? Thank you for keeping us all safe, sir. I really appreciate your service. Hasta entonces. See, you can, you can talk to the locals, the guards, everything. Let's find that donkey. Should be one. Oh, you can actually... And Arthur has his own special dialogue with the locals, too. Hello. No sé de qué me habla. Not that you understand what I'm saying. Nos vemos. He'll, he'll say stuff like that and say he wished he knew more Spanish and um, he compliments the island even though Arthur hates the island. Now we just have to find a donkey. Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, I can choose. Let's see if he compliments the island. Uh, you, Mr. Excuse me. No, por favor. 
Ahora no. It's all right. Mean you no harm. ¿Por qué tú viniste aquí? You don't understand a word I'm saying, do you? Adiós. <laughs> Evening. Por favor, sin problema. Nice around here. I'm kind of new to these parts. <laughs> well, look to you. Bien, pero no sé de qué me hablo. All right, donkey time. Let's ride the ass. <laughs> All right. But one thing with the donkey, you do not want to go through here because for some reason, if you ride through here with a donkey, and I think a horse as well, every single guard will start firing at you. And not only that, it'll trigger the invisible snipers too. So what you want to do is just basically go around. Go around through the sugarcane fields here. Oh, wait. A minute. Yeah, yeah. Try not to alert any guards if there's any nearby. Well, I received a, a blip in my honor. I guess for stealing the donkey. Alright, we're out of the sugarcane fields. And we're away from all the bad stuff. So now, what you want to do, first set a course for about right here. Now we will enter fast motion again. Alright, we're almost at the target, and as you can see here, the map starts to dematerialize. But luckily, you walk on this. Alright, back to fast motion. Alright, we are now at the spot we're supposed to be at. Now you set another marker for about right here, I think. Yeah, yeah, right there. And fast mode. All right, I'm going to take a quick stop. I just noticed this glitch. All those lights you see. That's not that's not daytime light or anything because it's the, it's one o'clock in the morning on the game. Those are actually lights from um, the main map. You know, stuff like San Denis and roads and all that stuff. But anyway, back to uh, fast mode. Alright, I'm going to stop right here, because, as you saw, you go here, it turns invisible, and the main map is right above you. You keep going straight, you're eventually going to get lower and lower until you go into the ocean. Which, you know, you won't be able to get to the mainland that way, because you'll drown before you get there. What you want to do, well, hold on, let me go ahead and remove this marker off. What you want to do is go up this little hill right here. But far enough to where you can actually get up on the mainland. Which can be done. I've tried, uh, believe me, I've tried several times and I've found how to do it. 
And about right here should work. Here we go. And just like that, we're back technically on the main map, but it still says Guarma. Now what you want to do now is basically just keep going northwest. So, fast mode, one final time. And woe and behold, the Lanahatchee River, and the but the blah the um, southernmost part of Lemoyne County, right across. Now you just want to find a way across, which oh. it's kind of glitchy through there. Now the hard part, getting across, because Easy. technically it says Lanahatchee River up top, but as you look here, we are still in Guarma, technically. You can try swimming across with a horse. Like I said, with a horse. A donkey though, a donkey doesn't have anywhere near the stamina to even con for you to even consider going across. And, you know, I was actually about to do this with a donkey one time, until I started looking around. That even on this side of the Lanahatchee River, Easy. Whoa. canoes and boats will still spawn, which is awesome. So now for the home stretch. Now we'll give a little warning in advance you will die again because the glitch that turns the main map into the Guarma map happens here but in reverse you get to a certain point the Guarma map will glitch and turn back into the main map and takes a little bit of uh, time to get there not much As you can see, there are currents. Yeah, but that is definitely the um, southernmost tip of Lemoyne County, where you can find places like Catfish Johnson's and the spot where you can get the legendary panther and just panthers in general. But it's going to glitch out at a certain point here. It's going to lag. Then you'll see Arthur get out of the uh, canoe and the canoe will sink. Should be any second now. There it goes. Canoe sinks, gets out. You can try to swim a little more. this be? Well, hang on. Oh, look at that. You're back in the main map. Most of the time you'll drown. Which I think I will. Because poor Arthur doesn't have anywhere near enough energy. Or There he goes. Which, you know, that part sucks. So that was actually the closest I ever made it without drowning. I didn't know you can actually do that. Then we go through a little loading sequence here. And 
and you are relatively close to Shady Bell. And your stats are crap. But either way, that is the end of this long video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to take advantage of this glitch, I suggest you do it ASAP because I don't know how long it'll take for them to patch that little bug up. But either way, if you found this video entertaining, useful, helpful in any sort of way, be sure to hit like and subscribe, ring the bell for further notifications, and I will see you in the next video.